Fight Club, the game no one asked for. I was expecting a bad game, but what I wasn't expecting was just how insane this game gets. He doesn't know. <laughs> he has no idea. You really have no idea. It was released five years after the movie, and instead of Edward Norton or Brad Pitt, we get Fred Durst. I start the game story mode, and I'm a bit surprised to find out that you play as no one, which turns out is as faithful as the game gets to the movie. The story opens with you asking for Tyler, and then fighting as per rule number eight. Oh, shit. The combat's got two buttons, a punch and a kick, and three fighting styles, martial arts, brawler, and grappler. You change generic combos together, and most of the time, your character model doesn't even make contact with the other guy. The one semi-interesting part is the ability to break bones, but I think you can only break arms, and even then, it's only when the fight is about over anyway. So I don't really see the point, other than it's kind of an interesting finale. I beat up Ricky, who I don't think is from the movie, then fight Wolverine, who I also don't think is from the movie. Also, all the cutscenes, except for the very first and very last, are these cheap, scuffed slideshows. They look terrible. They're unintentionally the best part of the game, and some of the later ones had me laughing out loud. Fuck you. I can remember that. And fuck you too, pretty boy. What are you looking at? So Meatloaf's in this game, and he actually does reprise his role as Robert Paulson. You beat him up, he's got boob physics, it's one of the few levels that's actually from the movie, and he tells you that Tyler's in Seattle. And off we go. Tyler's got some kind of shipment here, and then I fight Lou, the mafia guy from the movie, who, for some reason, is in Project Mayhem? Nothing about this game's story makes sense. What little is even here? It's clearly just an excuse to fill out the roster with semi-recognizable characters from the movie. He tells you that Tyler's in San Francisco, and the goose chase continues. Next, I run into the mechanic, who was also in the movie in a very tiny, forgettable role. He tells me to return to the Fight Club house I was just at, and now it's time to fight Angel Face, played by Jared Leto in the movie, not voiced by him in the game. It is kind of understandable, the actors didn't really want to have anything to do with this game. But honestly, the voice acting is the least of this game's problems. It's actually pretty damn good for the most part, especially for a game from 2004. Hey, long time no see. What are you doing here? Carrying out my assignment. Your assignment? You're with Tyler. Tyler's fucking nuts. Shut the fuck up, you little fucking pansy. Tyler's the only sane person on the planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there when we made that shit up. Anyway, I head to Chicago looking for Tyler, again, and get told he's not here and I have to fight, again. This game's story mode is only like an hour long and it's already too long. This right here, this isn't content. I don't know what it is, but it's not content. Also, why is Raymond the leader of the Chicago Fight Club chapter? Raymond was a quick plot device who's barely in the movie. If you don't remember, he was the guy who wanted to be a vet, but was working at a gas station before Brad Pitt threatened him with a revolver. Remember that guy? I didn't. I had to Google it because it's been so long. Why is he even in the game? I finally find Tyler, or the narrator, which gives away the movie's twist. The cutscene zoomed in so much, it's hard to tell when the game's trying to switch between the two characters. Anyway, I finally fight Jack, and it bears mentioning all these fights are identical. It's not like the characters are different other than the animations via the three fighting styles I mentioned at the start of the video. Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, King of Fighters, every fighting game has unique characters, right? Well, Fight Club, do you want this guy to have brown hair? or blonde hair. It's worth mentioning this game was made by Genuine Games, a developer who made two games, this and 50 Cent Bulletproof. Surprise, surprise, they ain't around anymore. Weird, right? So Tyler pulls a gun, runs off, then the final cutscene plays, and it's actually proper CGI and not a slideshow. Holy shit, is that Edward Norton? It kinda looks like him, right? Not bad. Marla Singer's here too, but why do they look so different from their in-game counterpart? I don't know if there was an issue with licensing or what, but this cutscene feels so disconnected from the game itself and the other cutscenes. It feels like it's kind of a peek into what could have been. I want to play this game. Where's this game? I know. You guys go downstairs. Leave her with me. I'll meet you there in a couple minutes.
The final shot of the movie plays, except it's changed for the worse, and are you shitting me? They couldn't even get the rights to the Pixie song? It's the most memorable song in the movie, and it plays over the most memorable scene, and they couldn't even get that right? Now I understand what fanboys mean when they say an adaptation ruined their memories of a beloved movie or show. This sucks. Go watch the movie or read the book. Both are great. Don't play this game. There's no fucking snooze bar on this wake-up call. I was told in order to make good YouTube videos, I needed a call to action. So here's yours. Leave a comment with, I am Jax, then your comment. If you don't, I'll know you didn't watch until the end, and I'll shame you publicly. Thanks for watching. New random game soon. See ya.